All right, let us look at this question. Uh, magnesium fluoride uh, n equal to uh, this is the, the refractive index a 1.38 is frequently used as a lens coating to make non-reflecting lenses okay determine the difference in the minimum film thickness required to prevent reflection of a blue light uh, with this wavelength yeah 400 nanometer and of a red light okay uh, lambda equal to 700 nanometer okay so first of all we need to identify okay uh, we know this is about thin flum okay because it mentioned about flum okay so this is about thin flum okay um, and then what type of thin flum yeah what type of thin flum the refractive index uh, is low high low or low high highest okay so first of all, we look at uh, he say making non-reflecting lenses. Ah, this is the one making non-reflecting lenses. So this is uh, non-reflecting, uh, non-reflecting thin film. Yeah, non-reflecting thin film. Which one? Non-reflecting thin film is yeah, non-reflective coating. Non-reflective coating. Uh, refer to the dark fringe of the one in phase. Uh, so refer to this one lah. Uh, yeah, has a two time phase change. Yeah, non reflective coating is the one in phase. Uh, has a two time phase change is low high highest. Uh, okay, like this one. Yeah, non reflective coating is for the one low high highest. Uh, if the reflective coating, if reflective coating is the one with a low high low, uh, low high low. Yeah. This one is uh, non-reflective coating. Uh, is low, high, highest. Okay. Uh, so it, uh, we can say it's like it's like uh, this one lah. Uh, if uh, non-reflective coating is like this one. Okay. Uh, the lenses non-reflective coating. Uh, you see, uh, the 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 person's glass don't have any uh, reflection. Okay. So uh, let's let us look at this question again. Uh, but if you forget non-reflective coating, refer to the one in phase. Okay, uh, that is the 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 in phase type. Yeah, the in phase type in phase sources. Uh, non-reflecting. Yeah. If you forget about this, uh, another way to reason it is uh, look at this one. This is about lens coating. Lens coating, uh, of course. Uh, this is the thin film. Yeah, lens coating is the thin film or the magnesium fluoride. Yeah, magnesium fluoride. Uh, this is actually the thin film lah. Or the coating. Uh, protecting what? Coating normally protect, protect the lens, protect the glass lens. Uh, normally glass lens has higher refractive index. Okay, uh, glass lens. So uh, if you look at the magnesium fluoride, okay, one point three eight. This one is the the refractive index for the flum. Uh, this one is the refractive index for the flum. So for the glass lens, normally is at higher uh, refractive index, uh, n equal to one point five zero. That is for glass. Okay, uh, for glass, no, normally I remember like that. Uh, for air, for refractive index for air is one. Reflecting index for water, for water is 1.33. Reflecting index for glass is around 1.50. Ah, I remember like that. Okay, glass is uh, 1.50. So if you look at this one, the flum is only, sorry, the flum is only 1.38. Ah, it's this uh, magnesium fluoride, the, this thin flum is protecting the glass lens so the glass lens is at the bottom layer bottom layer thin film is the middle layer okay uh, the glass lens is at the bottom layer it has the highest refractive index higher than the thin film um, 1.50 uh, so it, it's like this lah. Uh, after i draw out it's like this this is the air layer and then the lens coating or the thin film we call it magnesium fluoride okay 1.38 and then the glass lens is at the bottom layer uh, is the lens coating protect the lens it's not the lens protect the coating don't draw the lens at the middle the lens coating at the bottom okay it is the lens coating 
uh, it is the the logic yeah the logic is the code sorry the code protects the lens it's not the other way around it's not the lens protect the code uh, so remember the lens coating the lens the coating draw at the middle the lens draw at bottom yeah uh, so uh, we know that glass lens is normally a reflecting index 1.50 uh, so at the bottom layer is 1.50 uh, so what category is this this is low high highest uh, low high highest yeah low high highest so because of low high highest uh, both ray has phase change uh, because we know that uh, re uh, phase change happen phase change when do phase change happen uh, phase change happen during reflection from lower to higher reflective index when you travel from uh, from lower to higher refractive index reflection uh, got phase change yeah got phase change if from higher to lower refractive index reflection no phase change yeah no phase change so phase change only happen during reflection from lower to higher refractive index okay so let's look at this question again yeah so uh, look at ray number one look at ray number one yeah? Look at ray number one. Uh, it is reflection from lower to higher reflecting index from 1 to 1.38. From low to higher reflecting index. So this reflection got phase change. So the wave one has phase change by radian. Wave two also uh, reflection from lower to higher reflecting index, which is 1.38 to 1.50. Uh, yeah. 1.38 to 1.50 from lower to higher refractive index reflection also got phase change so wave 2 also got phase change uh, so both ray we can say both ray got phase change by radian uh, so we know that uh, if both rays if two rays of both waves got phase change they become in phase uh, because it's because it is a uh, pi minus pi radian becomes zero radian. So in between them, the phase difference is zero radian. Yeah, they become in phase. Okay. Uh, if only one wave, if only one wave got phase change, they become anti phase. If both rays uh, got phase change, uh, then they are equal. They become in phase. Okay. Uh, so uh, both rays got phase change, then become pi minus pi zero lah. Uh, so no phase difference in between both ray uh, no phase difference means they are both in phase so this is the category of in phase okay uh, or another way to remember it non-reflecting must be in phase source okay non-reflecting surface must be in phase source uh, so this is category in phase so from in phase we know that the other thing about in phase uh, what do we know about in phase uh, in phase for in phase source look at here in phase source bright fringe is m lambda dark fringe is uh, m plus half lambda yeah so not this one yeah so if in phase source to form bright fringe is uh, m lambda to form dark fringe is m plus half lambda okay for in phase so look back uh, so we can write we can write it down Okay, this is about in phase. So if in phase, uh, in phase to form bright fringe, the delta L need to be m lambda. The dark fringe, for dark fringe, the delta L must be m plus half lambda. Okay, uh, that is how I form the formula. Okay, now I need to know is it a bright fringe or dark fringe? Okay, now we want to find bright fringe or dark fringe. Is it we use the formula for bright fringe m lambda or we use the formula dark fringe m plus half lambda? Okay, look uh, at the following. Determine the difference in the minimum film thickness. Okay, he want the T minimum. T minimum. So that means the order also minimum lah. Uh, so when he want the T minimum means he want the minimum order also. So the minimum order is it 0 or 1? Depend on the formula okay uh, we don't know the formula yet okay we know if we want to find the minimum thickness 
Okay, the question asks us to find the minimum thick, uh, the difference actually. That means they have two thickness there for us to minus. Okay, so we need to find the minimum thickness, the difference in the minimum thickness to, to prevent, uh, prevent reflection. No, because it's a, you want a non-reflecting lenses, isn't it? Non-reflecting. Another keyword here is non-reflecting. Non-reflecting means uh, you want to prevent the reflection. Nah. Okay? So, prevent reflection. This is the keyword. Uh, pre prevent reflection. If you want to prevent reflection, means actually the light is reflected. The, the light is reflected. But, you cannot see the reflected light because they cancel each other. Destructive interference. Okay? Uh, so, so, another word is prevent reflection. Okay? Pre, uh, prevent reflection means to produce dark fringe. Uh, to prevent reflection means to produce dark fringe. So, you need to use a formula for dark fringe. Use a formula for dark fringe which is uh, M plus half lambda. Uh, use this formula. The dark fringe formula. M plus half lambda. So, the formula is 2nt equal to m plus half lambda. That's a formula we're going to use. Okay? The dark fringe formula. Uh, the word prevent reflection means to produce dark fringe. Dark fringe means use the formula uh, 2nt equal to m plus half lambda. Okay? Uh, now, we use the wavelength. We have two kind of wavelength. Uh, 400 and 700. Uh, so, we have lambda 1 and lambda 2. Uh, so, we have lambda 1 and lambda 2. So, uh, okay, this lens coating is a non-reflective coating. And we want to produce dark fringe. So, this is the formula we're going to use. So, this is the formula we're going to use. So, the odd, we want to get the minimum order. If we want, no, I want to get a minimum thickness. If we want to get a minimum thickness, means the order need to be minimum, isn't it? You want to get the minimum thickness. Means uh, the low the, the small thickness must have the smallest order also. Uh, this equation this equation allow uh, minimum order of zero or one. Zero or one. Can we substitute zero? Can because if you substitute order m equal to zero, the thickness is not equal to zero. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the so, it's safe for us to substitute order equal to zero. Because the minimum thickness, you still get none, zero. Because if you substitute order with zero, you still get half lambda. Uh, so, the thickness is not equal to zero yet. So, it is safe to put M equal to zero. Uh, the lowest order for M is zero. Uh, but if you, use, if you use another formula, let's say for the bright fringe formula, Reference formula, delta L equal to M lambda. Uh, if your formula is using bright fringe, if you're using bright fringe, you use the M lambda formula. Uh, uh, if you want to get the minimum thickness, minimum thickness, uh, this M minimum is uh, not equal to 0. You must put M equal to 1. You cannot put M equal to 0. Uh, you cannot put M equal to 0, which is wrong. Because if you put m equal to 0, you get uh, uh, the thickness 0. Uh, which means that the flum is not exist. Uh, so, it's wrong. Lah. So, for this equation, for this, if you use this equation m lambda, the minimum order you must put 1 instead of 0. Okay? Uh, but this one, you have, this formula has the half lambda. Uh, so, it is safe for us to put m equal to 0. Okay? Now, yeah. Uh, if you put m equal to zero, the thickness is still non-zero. Yeah, it's still non-zero, so it's still safe. Okay, so we know that m we must put zero for this for this equation. So uh, now we want to find the difference in thickness. That means difference in flum thickness uh, between the blue light and the red light. Uh, that means I need to put uh, just now I put this blue light as lambda one, this red light as lambda two. Yeah. I put this uh, this one as lambda 1, this one as lambda 2. So, I need to uh, substitute the lambda into this equation. And then order, I put 0. And then find the thickness for blue and thickness for red. And then minus each other. Then I get the answer. 
Okay, so 2NT, uh, this thickness is for the blue one, I, I put as T1, equal to M uh, plus half lambda 1, I put as lambda 1. Nah. Uh, yeah, for the red one is 2NT2 equal to M plus half lambda 2. Uh, okay, so N, uh, N we use what? N, is it we use the glass lens? No, yeah. Only choose the the flum. Uh, this one, yeah. Only choose the middle layer. Okay. Only use the one the flum reflected index. Uh, one point three eight. So remember, this reflected index is the reflected index for flum, not for the glass. Okay, not the one point five. So now continue. Uh, the flum is one point three eight. And then the thickness 1, and then order put 0. Okay, so uh, blue light is uh, 400 nanometer. I change to SI unit. So what's my thickness? Uh, what's my thickness for this? Okay, uh, I don't have the... I don't have the answer here. But it's a certain value. Okay. Uh, let's do the red one. The red one also uh, follow the same. Order put zero. Yeah, the reflective index use one point three eight also lah. Uh, but only the wavelength we put what we put seven hundred nanometer. Uh, okay, change to SI unit. So now let's calculate the T two. Uh, let's calculate the T two. Calculate by yourself. So the question asks for difference, difference in thickness. That means difference means the delta lah, the delta, uh, the delta. Uh, uh, difference in thickness means delta t. You want the delta t. So how to find the delta t? So the delta t is equal to uh, just I don't know which one is longer. Yeah, I see. Uh, the one shorter will have a. Uh, this one is shorter, isn't it? Shorter wavelength. Shorter wavelength will have a smaller thickness. Smaller thickness. The longer wavelength will have a big, uh, big, uh, bigger thickness. Uh, the longer wavelength will have bigger thickness. So, uh, I just uh, put the big minus the small. Lah. The big minus the small. Or you just modulus it. Because we just want to find the difference, isn't it? Just modulus it. Uh, don't care about the sign. Okay. So in the end, uh, after I minus each other thickness, the answer will become yeah, the difference in thickness. Uh, the answer will become if you get it correct, you will get this answer: five point four three exponent uh, negative eight meter. Uh, negative eight meters. So that's the answer. Okay, difference in thickness. Okay, uh, just like that lah. Okay, uh, remember just. Determine uh, what category is this? Low, high, highest or low, high, low? Determine in phase or anti phase? And then determine whether it's using bright fringe or dark fringe formula. Uh, and then about the thickness, we put order equal to 0 or order equal to 1. Okay, order equal to 0 or order equal to 1. And the rest just calculate. Alright, thank you very much and see you again in the next video.